Hey guys, I'm Jake. Welcome to Nature Beans. Let's strike a balance because when there is an imbalance, we don't like it. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to strike a balance by eating beans in conjunction with intermittent fasting and achieve maximum fat loss. When I started applying this strategy, I was around 85 kgs and today my weight is 76 kgs and all the weight loss that I have achieved with this strategy, I have only lost fat, which means my, as you can see on the screen here, my body fat percentage was 19.19% uh, and now my body fat percentage is in the range of 15%. So effectively, I lost 4% body fat and you can do the same. Only thing that you have to do is make sure you watch this video till the end because in the end, I'm going to tell you how I used beans in conjunction with intermittent fasting to achieve this 4% of fat loss. Now, before I begin with this valuable information, guys, if you're new to my channel, I would highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel because I regularly post healthy informational video. I'm passionate about health and here to share my secret with all of you. All right, let's begin now. So beans, why are they effective in fat loss? Number one thing is that beans are nutrient dense food, but they are very low on calories in comparison to other sources of food, especially carbohydrates. Second, beans are rich in protein and fiber. As you can see on the screen, just around 170 grams of beans, 15 grams protein and 15 grams fiber. Why is that important? Let me tell you. Number one thing, protein. Protein makes you feel fuller for a longer time. And second aspect of protein is that our body uses more calories to digest protein because protein is difficult to digest. That's why our body has to work extra hard. And in that process, you end up burning more calories. Second important thing here is the fiber content. Now, fiber, in my opinion, is the actual secret to fat loss and overall health as well. Now, 15 grams of fiber. When the fiber goes in your body, the good bacteria in our gut, they convert that fiber into short chain fatty acids. And these short chain fatty acids are basically like hormones and they are magical. They get mixed in our bloodstream and then it helps our body to release a hormone called leptin. Our fat cell release this hormone, leptin. Leptin is basically a hunger control hormone. It sends a signal to our brain that our body is full and we don't need any more food. That's why we lose our appetite and desire to eat once leptin is released. And that is achieved by fiber present in bean or any other food. But in this case, beans, they are loaded with dietary fiber. Now, other important aspect of eating beans is that beans are among the lowest glycemic index food in the uh, form of carbohydrate. When you consume beans in comparison to other sources of carbohydrate, it does not spike up your blood sugar level drastically. And that means less insulin release. The less insulin is released, the more fat your body will burn. And the best part about beans is that when you combine it with other foods like uh, uh, rice, white rice, even though white rice leads to a sudden spike in our blood sugar levels because it does not have fiber and that increases the glycemic index of rice. But when you eat beans with white rice, it even reduces the glycemic index of white rice because of the fiber content of beans. So automatically your blood sugar will not rise even when you eat white rice. All right, guys, now I'm going to tell you how I use beans with intermittent fasting. So basically, I eat beans at least uh, three to four days in a week. And that is the day when I do intermittent fasting. And the reason for that is, uh, let's say that I eat my dinner at 6 p.m. on those days because I don't want to delay it further into the night. So at 6 p.m. I will eat beans along with white rice and some salad. Beans, as I said earlier, they contain protein and loads of fiber. So that protein and fiber is going to make me full, uh, feel fuller 
throughout the night. I won't have that craving or desire to eat any other snack and mess up with my intermittent fasting. And the reason is, as I said, because of the fiber content, it helps my fat cells to release leptin, which is a hunger controlling hormone. So I won't have any desire or any more appetite to eat anything in between. And then next morning when I get up, uh, my breakfast time is 8 or 8.30 a.m. Before that, on empty stomach, I just drink one black coffee and I go for 15 to 20 minutes of casual low speed walking. Come back, have my breakfast. So that way, I get an effective window of 12 hours of intermittent fasting and in the night, I didn't mess it up because of hunger. All right, guys, so that was my little strategy for fat loss. And what you can do is do this at least three to four times a week before you get bored of eating your beans, keep changing. Sometimes you can eat kidney beans, Sometimes you can eat black beans. In the end, one bonus tip I want to give you is whenever you want to cook your beans, make sure you soak them in water overnight because that leads to also the breakdown of protein in beans called lectin. Now, lectin is a protein that might cause gut inflammation or give you that bloating feeling after eating beans. So when you soak it in water overnight, lectin is taken care of and then you can enjoy your beans. Alright guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, kindly hit the like button and I'm gonna see you next time soon. Till then, enjoy your beans.